Hi, I am Martijn and your guide in Copenhagen. After watching this travel guide, you know a lot about this city to get more out of your trip. From this historic waterfront to a little mermaid, a famous amusement park and everything in between. I don't like to ask, but please like, subscribe or leave a comment. It's the only way to grow on YouTube and to make new videos in the future. The most easy way to travel to Copenhagen is by plane. There are many international flights into Copenhagen airport. It takes less than 15 minutes to travel to the city by train or metro. And the train and metro run from terminal 3. And there is a service every 10 minutes. And a single journey will set you back around 5 euros. Let's start the Copenhagen travel guide with one of the main attractions in town, the Nijhaven. In English it's called the New Harbour. An historic waterfront next to a 17th century canal, with old houses dating back to the 16 and 1700s. It's hard to believe, but in the past this was really a city part of town. Nowadays it's bustling with a lot of cafes and bars over here, and a perfect place to make pictures. And don't forget to take a look at house number 18, 20 or 67. These were home in the past to author Hans Christian Andersen. And then, a little mermaid. This instantly recognizable statue sitting on a rock is surely the most famous landmark in the city. The sculptor Edvard Eriksen created the mermaid in 1913 as a tribute to author Hans Christian Andersen. And it will surprise you how small it actually is. Just like Sweden and the Netherlands, Denmark is also a kingdom. And the residence of the royal family is Amelienborg. This palace dates back to 1750 and is the residence for the royal family since 1794. And you can see the changing of the guards every day around noon. The ceremony lasts around 10 to 50 minutes, so my advice is to be on time. Don't miss the impressive Frederick's Church, it's located next to the palace. And it took a while to build it. The church finally opened in 1894, 145 years after the first stone was laid. And you can visit the church daily for free. Are you into history and old buildings? Then you have to take a look at the Rosenborg Castle. It was built by a famous Danish king, Christian IV, in the 17th century. And it houses 400 years of royal treasures. And it's surrounded by this beautiful park. In a moment you know one of the best museums to visit, but first, Castel. And that is a fortification. It forms a military site, a cultural historic monument, a museum, a windmill and a park, which many locals use for walks. One of the best museums to visit in Copenhagen is the Natural History Museum of Denmark. The collection includes approximately 14 million objects collected over 400 years, including skins, skeletons, insects on needles, plants and minerals. The museum is located in the corner of the botanical garden and in a moment more about that. But first, the Tivoli Gardens. It was founded in 1843 at one of the oldest amusement parks in the world. Of course, with carousels, roller coasters, kids and everything in between. A funny thing is that Walt Disney visited the park to gain inspiration for the first Disney park in the 1950s. And even when you are not in the mood for a ride, it's a funny and unique place to visit. And special attention to this attraction, the Star Flyer. It hikes up to 80 meters above the ground. Copenhagen is really a good city for shopping. One of my favorite cities to shop, by the way. And a good starting point is the longest shopping street in Europe, Stoil. Over here you find the major brands, H&M and everything you can expect. But just besides these main shopping streets, you find a lot of nice boutiques. It's really nice to walk and to shop over here. Different styles and colors on every corner. And another great place to shop and make pictures for your Instagram is Jersborg Gill. It is one of the most trendiest streets in Copenhagen because of the bars, the boutiques and the cobblestones. At the end of this street you will find one of the five cemeteries in Copenhagen. Many famous Danes are buried here, including Hans Christian Andersen. This city is full of beautiful parks, for example the botanical garden. 10 hectares of gardens and this beautiful butterfly house. And good to know, this is a free public space. 
The garden was first established in 1600, but it was moved twice before it ultimately given its current location in 1870. Just beside my lovely Amsterdam, this is really a bike city. There are bikes everywhere. There are many bike routes and you can rent bikes on several places. If you are interested, there is a link with some bike routes in the text below the video. I think the best time to visit the city is between March and May, or maybe in the summer, depending on what you're looking for. Of course, the summer brings the warmest months and some popular events. The other period can be slightly cheaper. I always want to show you everything in the city, but sometimes you have to respect the local people who don't want to be filmed. For example, in Freetown Christiana. This is really the most creative part in town. You're all welcome for a visit, but don't make pictures. Please give a thumbs up, thank you so much when you like this video. And if you don't want to miss any other episode, just subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's totally free and it enriches your view on the whole world. Tot ziens, ciao, hasta luego.